comparison between the two cars, the Fiesta ST line and the Corsa C SXI Plus. And we're just looking at the general handling. So what's it like inside the car? I have to say, very comfortable. Um, I mean, you know, the Corsa C is, or Corsa generally, have always been the type of car that, that um, you can kind of just get in and go. And that's why they're also so popular as driving school cars. These seats, just like in the old one, are just a different material than that, but they're the same sort of seats. And um, I've always found them very comfortable. You can get a driving position, comfortable driving position, you know, pretty much straight away, which hasn't been the same for every car I've had. And, um, yeah. I mean, this is, these are going to be typical Kirklees roads we're going to be driving on, so it is a little bit like water on a route. Um, it's a good test then. Yeah, excellent test. I mean, to be fair, I mean, the road we're on at the minute is undulating, it's not potholes, which we'll get to in the way, and speed bumps. And it does actually seem to handle quite well, you don't feel to be bounced around too much. Uh, yeah, it's fairly fairly thick sort of tyre so you know it does soak up a lot of the uh, yeah that, that is quite an important one because a lot of people like to get their um you know large alloys in there and the tyre yeah. gets to be thin and of course then you've got less um you've got less tyre to actually soak up the the road bumps and that's just as important as the, as the actual suspension in terms of your, your interior comfort it's, it's safe, yeah. yeah. It's safe. It's not designed to be an out-and-out -out sports car, um, but it's, uh, it's certainly very predictable. And the thing with these as well is the uh, suspension is a little bit stiffer than the standard course. Or slightly, anyway. yeah, slightly. It's sort of in between this. Uh, this is sort of in between the, the standard Corsa and the. SRI is there. That's right, yes, yeah, sort of a halfway house. It's meant to be slightly sporty, but they didn't really change it much in terms of the powertrain from a standard car. Just slight differences from the exterior, that's all. So we're hitting a typical area of Kirkley now. Um, that's West Yorkshire for you guys that yeah. work there. <laughs> and we're getting the, the patchy, hole ridden roads that we're getting. This one isn't particularly too bad. By comparison to some that I can think of, that aren't too far away, but it is typical of a road in the area. Yeah, plenty of potholes. You know that tracking yard done? Yeah, it's, it's out, out now, now yeah. <laughs> drives really nice like I said pretty much as you expect um, pretty safe pretty sensible I quite like the, yeah the, the thing is as well for me it's smoothing out a lot of the bumps now if Martin goes the way I think he's gonna go we're gonna get a real test of the suspension because it's you know, the road is pretty bad in that area I'd be quite interested to see how that does I mean this suspension this is slightly stiffer than a standard Corsa. The suspension in mind the Fiesta is quite a lot stiffer than a standard Fiesta. Yeah. It looks like he's gonna go that way. Yay! This external footage shows just how much the, both the cars were bouncing around. The thing was, I didn't actually notice it that much in the Corsa. But you can actually see from the where the cam's moving around. Martin was certainly feeling it inside the Fiesta. Yeah, we're going to go for the test here over these um, sleeping policemen. Yep. You know what, actually, we've gone down the road um, and I haven't actually said anything about it and I don't actually remember feeling any serious bumps yet yeah, in most cars that I go along that road in you can really feel it yeah I felt it. yeah I think he's gonna be feeling it more than us at the moment that's mm. fair to say so the Corsa came out quite favorable now let's see how we do in the Fiesta
Right, so quick journey around on the roads in Kirklees again. Yeah. Uh, see, just basically seeing how the fi how the feel was, the, or it's different in, uh, in in this compared in to the my old. Fiesta. Yeah. Now, as you can see, we're bouncing up and down because we're going over these horrendous, stupid speed humps. So, yeah, yeah, and really, let's say for a ride, around here, it, it, this is not the, exactly the um, the mega suspension that's on the full fire T. Yeah, it's, it's toned down from It that. is, but it is what their starting block was for the ST, so it is the same sort of setup, but not not tweaked massively. Caution. Yeah. There she goes. Warning have you me done, all the time. Have you looked at any of the um, hints that have appeared on YouTube about that? I haven't, no, not yet. I just haven't had the chance uh, about trying to turn her off and that. One thing I'm noticing about her though, I had the stereo loud one day and then since I've turned it down she's louder. I don't know why. She She's now saying caution louder and sometimes she will say it more quieter. It's strange. But anyway, we don't want to get onto the caution lady. But yeah, as we ride with this, on roads like this, fine. Yeah. You, can, you can tell you're not in a, let's say, a car fiesta. Yeah. Because that would be more squidgy and all that. You'd certainly know that. I've noticed I actually feel like I'm bumping around a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not one of those that will, let's say, feel every pebble on the road. No. Oh. But <laughs> it's, it's forgiving. Yeah. In places. But, um, yeah, you'll get into a full fat ST and you'll know the difference between this and, and that. For its suspense. Well, I wouldn't say it hurts. It's, it's, it's what that car needs for the nature of the yeah. car. Uh, well, I, I mean, I remember being in the Rover 800 Vitesse Sport. Hmm. And Caution. Stop it. I'm very loud. Finished yet. But, yeah, I, mean, I was in that car. I was sat in the back with my then girlfriend while uh, her parents were driving driving around, driving the car and I think we were on holiday but you felt every single little undulation of the road it was yeah. like being in a, in a 30 mile an hour Blackpool tram yeah of the time that was there because you, you felt the the whole bumpy and Bits of the, I mean, the new ones are really, really smooth, mm. but those were really, you, they, they were the originals. It felt terrible, when, especially when you were on the motorway, but if you were in the back, if you were in the front, it was brilliant. It's a fantastic ride, nice and firm, but on the back, because you sat on the suspension, it was awful. You see, the thing with this, it's only an ST line. Yeah. We've only got your litre engine in it. It's, it is a nice little run around, a, a mild pocket rocket, let's say, but it certainly doesn't need a hard ride. How wonderful the roads. <laughs> well, it's not, don't forget we're on sports sticking suspension as well. And not as harsh as the full fat ST be, as well. To be fair, this uh, this road isn't actually that bad. There are no potholes in it. True, it's just a bit. It's just the shape down. Yeah, it's shape yeah. due to the reliable yeah, land. Yeah, yeah. Most of the roads in Kirklees will get that problem true. with generally because you're bouncing around like you're on the moon. Mm. Not that I'm having a dig at Kirklees Council, but when it comes to roads, they. Well, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Still 32.6. It's fair to say that the ride in the Fiesta was definitely a lot more bumpy, but at the same time as well, when you were driving on reasonably smooth roads, it was a lot smoother as well. The seats in the interior did a lot to actually soak up the bumps a little, but you were bouncing around a lot more in the Fiesta than you were in the Corsa. Overall, I'd have to say this one, the Corsa does get it, but 
not by much. The Fiesta was good, just a little too bumpy at times for our roads here in Kirkby's.